Any recent films, uh, film in Bollywood you watched and you loved? <coughs> I really liked Padmavati. Okay. I did. I uh, I didn't know about the story, and maybe that's why I was so fascinated by it. And I thought uh, Deepika just portrayed it in in, in such a new way. Um, that all of us could identify with. And that those women, I didn't realize, they sacrificed their life. And they were thinking ahead of time. Yeah. You know, they were thinking that we don't want to have children mm -hmm. and, and, and have sort of like the next generation not be good people. So why do that? Why bring in sort of bad people into the world? So they sacrificed on so many levels and I didn't know that. So. Um, and again, that's what's great about Indian cinema. Like we're talking about four thousand years of history. So, I mean, no story is not here. Controversy is not here. After that, what is it? That I don't know why. Because in that time, there was no such thing as controversial. I mean, I didn't feel like it was going to be in Rajasthan or anywhere else. It was going to offend someone. In fact, uh, it was showcasing women in a great way. And then, and uh, that you can do that. I mean, you can sacrifice for the greater good and, and see what they did and get motivated. Uh, so I was quite surprised at the controversy. Same here. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's sort of like the whole point of Indian cinema and cinema is to have freedom of expression. And if you don't feel good, you don't go to the theater. Simple. Yes. And I mean, I just think that this is one place where we have that freedom to speak and, and, and have a voice. And the best part about cinema is that we can, um, you know, portray humanity and show emotions where, like, you know, people in their daily lives can, can sort of learn from. And I think we also want to see people on screen who do extraordinary things because we can't do that yeah. in our real life, like right? Fantasy. Yeah. So that's what's so. Um, we should not stop that, and we shouldn't stop filmmakers or artists from from doing that. In fact, something similar happened in, with Vishwarupam One as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, when uh, Kamal sir he said like, "I'm going to leave the place," <laughs> and, and he was furious, of course. So that time, uh, did you like, okay, my debut is going to be jeopardized or what's going to happen? I wasn't thinking that at all. Okay. In fact, I was thinking like, uh, I, I was saddened, yeah. actually. I was really hurt because uh, I couldn't believe that our country, who has like one of these, one of the best filmmakers in the world, and you're going to stop him. Yeah from showcasing his movie. I mean, you know, proof is in the pudding. I mean, he's given 50 years to cinema. He has changed cinema. He has motivated people to, to do different things. And uh, I was really hurt and sad because we're stopping a man like him from showcasing his work. And in fact, we should be supporting him, encouraging him, and, and even like telling him and, and doing everything that we can to get that movie out there. Um, so I was I was hurt actually by that. Not um, like oh my god, my debut was gonna get you know messed up. And it it was sad that a man of his caliber had to say he's gonna leave his yeah. own country. I mean that's that was sad, a maybe. really big statement for someone to say, um, especially him. You know because he fights for people. You can see that in all of his movies. You know he he's a people person and he sure. wants you know people to do well.